Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 104 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, where today we get to play with trains. I'm very excited, very, very excited. Uh, so we've been uh, working towards this moment for a little while now. Uh, it looks like it's getting nighttime. So I'm, I'm just going to go through, uh, and, and basically today's episode I kind of want to just like play with the concept of trains and see what kind of cool stuff you can do with them and, and kind of show off what I've learned about them because it, they are super awesome. I mean, if you haven't seen anything about Create Trains yet, you are in for a treat because it is super cool. Uh, that said, uh, I do have a plan for something I want to do with trains. What I'd like to do um, is in Create, there's a, there's a, there's a nice but semi-complicated, but not terribly complicated, but semi-complicated uh, cake that we could make, uh, the Blaze Cake. Uh, now this Blaze Cake, if you feed it to those, um, those dudes, they turn blue. Uh, the blaze burners, and they like get like super powered and can make really cool stuff, right? Um, so if we looked at, for example, blaze burners, we'll see that um, you know there's a couple different temperatures: smoldering, fading, kindled, and seething. I guess uh, that's cool. Those are block heat properties, I guess. I think uh, where would the blaze burner recipes be? Might be uh. Might be in something here. Let's see. How about mechanical mixer? I'm sure there's something in the mechanical mixer that needs. Well, there's a lot of things here. So like here's an example one. Superheated, right? There's a bunch of things that superheated needs. For fun though, I think it would be neat to automate blaze cakes. It's pretty simple. You just fill a blaze cake base with lava. And the blaze cake itself is made with cinder flour, which is ground up netherrack, sugar uh, from sugarcane, and eggs uh, from, from chickens. So uh, what I thought might be fun is to automate that process with trains. I'd like to have a train that visits multiple stations, each one responsible for making one of those components, and the train brings all those components to a central location where they are crafted together into blaze cakes. Does that sound cool? That's the end result goal. Um, it's probably, you know, a little overkill, but I thought that would be a neat challenge just to do to show off what all the cool stuff trains can do. So let's start with tracks, because trains can only exist and run on tracks. Uh, tracks are pretty simple. You can either right click them in the world and just place them one at a time. Not a problem. Easy peasy. Or uh, what you can do is you can place one in the world and then click on it and then you can aim at like a second point for where that's gonna go. Now where you're looking is important. So notice as I look around here, um, the angle of which you are looking is actually, you know, semi-important. So it's it's both dependent on how you're looking and, uh, and and what block you're looking at. And you'll see there's like these little red things. So it tells you like here you can't really do it. The angle's too sharp. See on the bottom it's telling you angle too sharp. Here we're good. Here angle's too sharp. Um, but you can, you know, bring it forward. You can hold control to change up how the, how the angle looks. So for example, uh, if I held control here, it would smooth out the angle a little bit more. Uh, so we could either, you know, go this route or this route. And you'll see the, the representation. And also on the bottom, it's telling you how many tracks you need. So already we can tell we're gonna need like a lot of tracks. So let's go ahead and, you know, make more of those while we're playing around with this, right? And then it's simple as right clicking again and it'll place all the tracks kind of pretty much exactly where you would expect them to get placed. Cool, right? A um, couple people have described it as being very similar to Factorio, if any of you have played that game before. Like, trains work a lot like they do in Factorio. Um, so it's pretty neat. Pretty cool indeed. So you can get, like, more curvy, all kinds of wild stuff you can do with trains. Uh, you can also get trains to go vertically. So if we wanted to, we could, you know, start, let's say, back here. And then if we came up to here, you'll see that it's going to do that. Cool, right? All right. Nice. Uh, you can also, also uh, have slabs in your offhand or some kind of blocks in your offhand, and it'll place those blocks under the trains. So check this out. If I put this in there, it should place these blocks under the tracks. See? But only like when it's in midair, for example. Um, 
So for example, if I did this, okay. And then we started here. Not holding enough pavement blocks. Oh, really? Okay. That's cool. So see, and then boom. How cool is that? Neat, right? But pretty much only happens when it's, um, and you can go like around curves and stuff. So like, here's a good example where you might wanna go. And again, you can hold control to kind of like smooth out the angles a little bit better if you wanted to. So notice how like it, it didn't replace any of the, any of the, the dirt or whatever there uh, with any of those blocks. But that, I mean, how cool is that? How cool is that? You can also get girders, I think, if you want to do that. Um, so let's get a couple stacks of you because you're pretty easy to get a hang of. And what I'm going to do is probably just clear out a majority of what's here. Um, give me a sec to clean this all up. The other thing you can make are girders, which are really neat. Uh, check these guys out. So uh, number one, they look cool, right? And uh, you can use those to kind of build your train tracks onto. And if you put them in your offhand, they look super neat. Like, they look really cool. So let's do that here. And then we'll connect you to that. And check that out. Uh-huh. Isn't that awesome looking? Isn't that awesome looking? The answer is yes. It looks really awesome, actually. Uh, so that's girders. They're cool. So if you want to go with something, uh, you know, with that, if you're going like up a slope or something or, you know, whatever, it's all good. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look now at how to make trains. Uh, so first off, you need to have a train track because, again, I'm pretty sure trains can only exist on tracks. I don't think they're allowed outside of tracks. There's also a limit of roughly 32 um, blocks away that you can build in one go, but obviously you can then build more and, and go further. So I'm just gonna build out you know, a nice straight track because that's kind of the easiest to build your trains on. And trains can kind of be pretty big, I think. All right, so let's start. I think the first thing you do is you place a train station. So step one is click the train station onto the track where you want it to be. And these train stations will be used as stopping points uh, along the, the track. So Later on, you can set up like automated schedules and you can you know manually drive the train around and you can set these things to go to different stations. So whatever station or whatever point you put the station on the track is going to make uh, a difference. And also the direction that it's facing also matters. So like this means it's going to come from behind and go this way, right? Like this is the direction. So track selected and then just place a station kind of anywhere nearby. It doesn't super matter where it goes. I'm just going to stick it here for now and that should be cool. All right, successfully bound a target track. Cool, and you'll see that it keeps the station shown there, which is awesome. Uh, track station, you can rename it, so we'll just call it station one. Check, and that's cool. All right, neato. Uh, now there's a button here for create new train, and what this will do is let you create a train on the station. Doop. And then the little blue flag pops up. No bogies, use train casings on highlighted tracks to create bogies. Remove bogies by breaking the block on top. Uh, build carriages attached to one another, uh, attached to one or two bogies each. Um, so basically, let's see. Cool. And then close window, cancel assembly. Cool. So when the blue flag is up, it means it's ready to start building a train. And what you do is you place a train casing, boop, and it'll, oh, that's so cool. Uh, that is awesome. That is super neat. Uh, and then we can, let's see, uh, I think we can place another one here. And then do we, but we create a click again to cycle type. Okay, so we can go like this or this. These are the two types of train that you can make. Train bogey, I guess. Neat. Oh, you can click with anything. That's cool. All right. Um, now I know you can like, when you place blocks, they are typically, the first ones that you place are already super glued, right? Um, so let's start with this. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing, but I'm just kind of playing it by ear.
Okay, so they're not connected yet. How do I connect these two trains? I think if I place them right next to each other, they would be connected, but I'm pretty sure there's a way to connect them like separate from each other. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think once I form the train, it'll automatically connect them. Let's see, so we go in here and hit assemble train. At least one forward facing control block needs to be mounted on the train, right? So then we need train controls and that can sit here. And now assemble train, at least one forward facing train needs to be mounted on the train, resolve this and retry. Isn't that what I just did? Forward facing train controls. I might need to glue it. Yes, that's probably what I need to do. Uh, let's do that. So I want to you to you and then assemble. Oh, cool. And look, it did do the thing. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, now I can disassemble train and I want to probably put a seat on there, right? So uh, I could just put this in my offhand and I think it would glue. And now when I assemble, you should be cool. Nice. That is cool beans. I might want that train seat to be behind. That's better. Assemble. Cool. Look at it go. All right. Now, uh, I should be able to just push forward and backward here to drive this guy, or am I crazy? You are now controlling unnamed train. Sweet. So now I can push forward. Oh, that's cool. And backward. And now if you hold space, it'll automatically drive up to the station and stop. And then you can hold you can hit shift to stop controlling and shift again to that's cool. All right. Now do I just right click the controls? You are now controlling on Oh wow, you can control it. Oh, that's fun. You can control it from here. That's neat. Okay. That is neat. And then stop. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I super like it. That is super nifty. All right. Uh, and then we can train name it too, like train zero one. Right. And now, you are now controlling train 01. Choo choo! Cool. Notice you can only approach the station from behind, or at least you get the notification of that, because the direction in which the station... Oh, that's cool. And look, it gives a little flag when the train's here. And I'm pretty sure that also emits a, a comparator signal. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Yeah, look at that. Cool, right? Look at that. So if we leave, see, and then we reapproach the station, bing. How cool. Oh, uh, it gets so much better though. It's so it's so neat. Now I'm pretty sure I can place another bogey here. So let's try that out. So if I were to disassemble train, there's two bogeys. I'm gonna pop another one down and make sure that he's got a couple blocks on him. You need at least one block from what I understand. And then can I reassemble? I can. Look at that, and now I've got three bogeys. Now here's the thing, right? I just wanna note this because I, I, was, I was notified of it. Let's see, how do I get rid of you? I think you break the top lock. Yeah, that's what you do. Okay. Now you can place bogeys next to each other, I believe. Um, and they can be connected. But only up to two. Two bogeys uh, can be connected to each other like that. Um, if you place a third bogey like this, it won't let you do that. Or it does let you do that. Okay. Uh, what if they're super glued? Might be when they're super glued, they can't be all together. Assembly failed. Too many bogeys. Attach three. Resolve this and retry. All right. 
So that's cool. So if I were to unsuperglue you and just disconnect these guys here, would that be cool now? Three bogeys. Yeah. I don't know why that limitation exists. I'm just telling you that it does. Unassemble. Hold on. Oh, wait. Hold on. Sweet. Yeah, all three are moving. That's cool. That is cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and you can build, like, whatever you want on this thing at this point. Yeah, you can build all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, let's sleep through this night because it's getting dark, and I want you guys to be able to see what I'm making because some cool stuff. All right, let's make, um, let's do this. You ready? Let's disassemble train. Uh, can I do this? And let's get like, maybe you could, uh, this could be glass. You know Dyer's not good at building nice things, but you can imagine that if you were good at building nice things, you'd be like, oh, that's cool. All right, and then how about a building gadget to help me out with this little bit? Classic Dyer train. All right, it's a little tight in there. I don't know if I love how tight that is, but I guess we'll see. Now you can make doors, uh, train doors. Let's make two of them and see how they look. I have no idea, we're gonna figure it out. Oh, that's neat. Uh, you can also make glass doors if you want. Missing two framed glass, oh, my bad. Really? There you go. Yes, I know it's just, you know, classic dire stone bricks, but I'm just demonstrating what you can do. All right. So now if I were to assemble... Oh, my bad. I didn't glue it. You have to glue it. You have to glue it. Don't forget to glue it. How much better is super glue now? Can we talk about how great that is? Too many bogeys attached. Okay, hold on. I thought I did that in the right way. Too many bogeys attached. Thought there was like... Thought I was cool now I did that. I might have had too much glue everywhere. Uh, I think I removed most of it. So the trick, by the way, is when you glue something, you left click to remove the glue. I wasn't doing that. I was right clicking thinking I was removing the glue and I wasn't. All right, so let's try this now. You to here should be cool, maybe? Nope, it does not like that. Um, the problem is, is it's got the two bogeys here. I thought if you keep them, if you don't connect them directly, I thought it would be okay, but it might be that that's not the case. So let's do this. Let's do... Technically, I don't even need this back bogey. I'm just kind of trying to understand how trains work a little better. But in theory, I should be able to do this. Could be this back train. And how about this one to here? Would that be cool? That seems cool. All right, neat. All right, so check this out. This is one of my favorite parts. When you approach a station, the door is open automatically. You ready? 
Approaching station. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool, cool, cool. All right. So my only trick is that I made my roof a little bit short, but you get the idea. And I can disassemble the train now and make it better. I could absolutely make it better. Uh, I think like number one, I should consider, um, first off, let's remove the glue here. Yeah. I like that glue mechanic though, I really do. Probably gonna put my seat here in the front more so I can get in and out a little bit easier. Uh, and I should be able to, I wonder if I can do this and then this, if that'll let me build the train. Like that. And then this to this. Too many bogies attached, okay. But then if I remove this block, are we cool? Here to here? Okay, that works. That's cool. All right, so let's change this up a smidge. Because I think I'm starting to understand why the limitation is two bogies per train, I think. Uh, so if we were to put like a bogey here, right, and this could be basically like one train car, think of it like that. Um, so think of it like one train car, right? Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put probably, yeah, and then we could have another because when you put the bogies down, they connect to each other pretty much anyway, right? So if I do this, and then another one here, that might be too far. One, two, three, four, five, six. The so one, two, three, four, five, and then the thing. One, two, three, four, five, and then the thing. Yeah, that works. Okay. So, like, imagine these as two different train cars, right? Um, and remember, they'll connect to each other when we form the train. So now I can do my super glue and basically do this to that. Let's remove these guys all together. And then this. that so that that includes all those things okay uh and now when i assemble the train that should work right and now we've got like two train cars like one that's here and one that's there right and if i wanted to i could remove this block that makes sense so now i'm kind of getting the two bogey limitation because it's meant to be it's meant to be uh i missed a thing by the way And I should probably have one back here as well. Right? It's meant to be like train cars, and that's why it's two bogeys per car, right? So you can have as many train cars as you want, but like this is train car like one, and this is train car two. And now when we jump on and start driving, choo choo! Oh, it's so cool. And I'm sure people have come up with some really impressive looking trains that I might need to Google. So one more thing I know you can do, uh, and I'm debating if I want to rearrange some controls for this, but I'm pretty sure you can place a fluid tank here and then a steam whistle. Oh, hello. You can change the pitch too. Oh, that's neat. I don't know how, but I assume you can. Oh, look at that. There's all kinds of different shapes you can make with it. That's cool. That's cool. And then uh, I guess what we're going to have to do, what I maybe I'll put the steam whistle like right on the very front. Oh, you can make it as tall as you want. Oh, that's cool. 
That is so cool. What other things can I do with you? I'm sure this will tell you how to change the, the pitch. Can be placed on a fluid tank. Uh, if the tank receives sufficient heat, it'll play a note when activated. Yes. But also on a train. Use the whistle on the block to lower its pitch. Oh, I see. Oh, that did lower its pitch. Okay. So by adding the height, you get more pitch. Okay. Now that makes sense. That's pretty cool. And then different octaves using the wrench. Okay. Not that I know what an octave is, because I'm not a musical person. I'm sure that shocks everyone who's watching this video right now. What, Dyer? You don't know music stuff? Nope. Super not musical. Um, so what if we had, like, the doors here? That could be cool. And then, you know, we could have another set of doors back here, maybe? I see it's getting to be nighttime again. Uh, and I would like to make this look a little bit cool. And that's just not in Dyer's wheelhouse, but I mean, I could try my best. What if uh, 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 we've got dark stone, like maybe stairs might be cool. I have no idea. I'm just I'm just messing around at this point. And then some polished dark stone. And how about some polished dark stone slabs? Might be cool looking. I don't know. We'll go from here. Hmm. That could be cool looking, right? Would that be neat? And then I could have, uh, I could place the stairs like this so that you can easily get in and out when the train comes up to the station. That could be cool. How do we think this looks? You know, dire, dire, no good at stuffs. And I'm pretty sure if I glue this correctly, it should be okie dokie smoky, but we'll find out. Um, now, I wouldn't mind it being like not a big old cube. All right, so I'm just kind of playing with like materials here. Right? Like, we can make our front train kind of have, like, a coppery kind of feel to it, because it's, like, the... It's, it's, it's the... Maybe we need more of those. Cool. And then we could go, like, with glass all around. Definitely. So, like, the, the steam whistle being in front is not ideal, but I could put it somewhere else and probably will then. Missing zinc ingots. I haven't been processing you, have I? Have I zinc? So maybe, you know, I wonder if I could just do like clear glass. That could be cooler, right? What do we have here that's like, we have connecting glass. That's probably what I want, right? Connecting glass comes from glass. And then what else, what was like the next iteration of that? Clear glass? Yeah, let's go with some of that. Uh, hey, exchanging gadget. Does that look cool? 
I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Now what I was thinking is we would have, probably have something in the corners. Because I think that would look smarter. Yeah. Um, let me just put away some things I don't need right now. Clear glass. Let's have a building gadget just to make this a little bit easier on me. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Didn't I ask for a bunch of you? Did I get the bunch of you that I wanted? Maybe. He's thinking about it. Did he get gummed up? I haven't really tested this thing in bulk. No, oh, no, he's actually working pretty good. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, and maybe the roof could be, uh, could be glass as well. We're going to need more clear glass. Doot, doot, doot. I can probably put you away. I'm going to remove this. And we'll set up the whistle maybe on the roof. I just kind of want to see what kind of cool stuff we can make here. Okay. So fluid tank here. That looks kind of cool, right? Right? Now, uh, I was going to go with the train casings, but I need to make more things before I can make those. I need more zinc. Uh, what else might I use for train, for like the back part of the train? Uh, something fancy-ish looking. Something fancy-ish looking. Uh, what do we have a bunch of? What indeed do we have a bunch of that would look cool as a train material? We could go with the andesite casings. That could be cool. Ain't no reason we can't do that, right? Yeah. And just frame it out. Does that sound neat? And then we could do uh, more clear glass. Just minus these two. Do you think we could make it so that these are on the front here? Or do I want them recessed? I think, look, I think them being recessed looks kind of neat, right? I think so. I think so. Is that cool? Looks like a neat train, right? I like that. That's not bad. All right. Uh, so now let's sticky glue everything, right? So we want... Uh, remember, we're going to want to include these guys, but it shouldn't be too... Well, I think if we did that, it would ensure that they get sticky glued all together in one shot. And then we would want to sticky glue you to here. Let's see if it works. You ready? Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Oh, we have a train. Doo -doo -doo. Look at Dyer's train. And the doors close and open automatically. How cool is that? And I'm pretty sure... That that's awesome.
and you hit the run button control to do the whistle. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness, that is like the coolest thing ever. Isn't that cool? I mean, Dyer is not a good builder, but you could imagine if you had people who knew how to build things better than me that this could look really awesome because could, you could use any block. All right, so let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here. Uh, we will come back next time. I will show you guys some other cool things about trains. Um, I think next episode I want to play with like the schedules and the routing system so that we could like get a conductor and have them, you know, do stuff. Now, if I am not mistaken, by the way, I think I can move trains with a wrench. So once they're up, they're formed already. Like, so this is a formed train. If I right click it with a wrench, click track to relocate train one. Cannot relocate this train, train this far away. Boop. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Oh, that's nifty. Interesting. Relocation aborted. Oh, look at that. I bet it's 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 dependent upon Interesting. I mean, he's reverse, but that's okay. There we go. Sweet. And then I could back him into things. So you can easily relocate your trains. Um to new locations using the wrench. That is super cool. I like it. I like everything about it. It's just the best, right? Isn't it super cool? All right, wrapping up point, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time uh, and play with automation with trains where we can get conductors to automatically move from one station to another. For now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.